No, I'm a I'm a <laughs> morning I think it's like 10 30 I'm not really sure what time it is basically I thought I would vlog today because I am going to a influencer event launch thing for stitch and story so that'd be quite exciting but <laughs> I'm feeling really really anxious about it I actually was feeling fine yesterday it's just last night I had like an anxiety dream about the event so <laughs> It's quite nerve-wracking and I'm feeling the pressure of like what do I wear and what do I say and like what if I'm not a very good knitter compared to the other people. I'm sure that's not true. I mean this is literally my job but do you know what I mean? Like I just I'm having one of those days where I feel like I have nothing to wear again. This is the point of sustainable fashion though. You can always restyle clothing to something that you want it to be. You don't have to buy more. So I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna find something that I'm happy with wearing. I'm just not vibing not vibing today <laughs> i don't want this channel to just be oh i'm having a really nice time and i'm not necessarily having a nice time so i think it's important to document when i'm actually struggling as well even though that seems a lot scarier than documenting like me having a nice time i also need to finish off my video for secondhand september which needs to go up on friday and it's wednesday today so I need to get my shit together, basically. So I've just had a look at the time. It's not 10, it's almost 11 o'clock. Susie's just asleep over here. So I really need to get a move on because I've only got four hours before I have to leave. It's such a nice day today. So sunny. Oh, I'm feeling really stressy about it. I feel like this bread is an anxiety coping mechanism. Hopefully I won't get drunk if there's drinks like Adam. Um, trying to stay positive. The final breakfast menu ended up being bread with balsamic and oil, a nectarine, and hula hoops. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. The food has started to digest. Oh my God, this hair is really stuck. So it's calming the anxiety slightly. I've just washed my secondhand September jumper. So that's all done, which is great. So that's put me in a lot of a better mood. I now need to decide what to wear. And I know I wore that pink v-neck to the last event I went to, but I'm thinking I might wear it again. Maybe this time with a hat and like jeans, so it's like more cash, because it's like a daytime thing. I really want to get some checkerboard vans, because I think it'd look really cool with them, but we don't have them right now, so what can you do? But it's like awkward weather, because you want to wear something that's like, snuggly because it's starting to the weather's starting to change and obviously it's a knitwear event so i want to wear knitwear but it's also like not cold enough to wear just like a jacket and a knit and a top oh my hair's gone so frizzy again oh whatever i need some hair oil or something somebody tell me vegan hair stuff help help me help me <laughs> does this outfit make me like the hamburglar i feel like i look like the hamburglar is it a bad thing? I quite like it. I've got a shitload of jewellery on. And my white jeans, which I managed to get the coffee stain out of. And my Converse. It's weird because I only have one on. Mm. Okay, so I'm quite into this. She's like all white with this and maybe my Converse, but I'm gonna try it with some blue jeans and see what that looks like. I kind of look like a long lost member of Sum 41. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. I think I might prefer the blue jeans. So I've got this denim jacket. Does the denim look weird together? I think maybe the white jeans if I'm gonna wear this jacket. Okay, I think this might be our winner because it's quite cold outside. It's like 12 degrees right now. It's gonna go up to 17. So I need something that looks good with and without a jacket. And then I'm gonna put my Converse on, I think. Or maybe my boots. Cute. We like it. I always think when you wear docks with like long trousers, they kind of look like orthopedic shoes, but I'm definitely happy with like this part. It's the shoes that I'm not super happy with. This is why I need the vans. <laughs> these are my shoe options. So I've got my Converse, my trainers. I don't have any of these because I don't want to wear boots and they're my running shoes, they're my slippers and they're like fucking high summer shoes, like wedding shoes. Do I just go like fucking stupid and wear this 
leopard print coat. It's going to be 17 degrees later. I feel like that's not a good idea, but also like, it's fall. <laughs> I need a bag. I guess I could wear this that matches my docks. And then it might tie in. Ah, no, I'm not feeling it now. Okay, okay. What about this? It's a lazy oaf bag. Because I can just like carry it. And it matches my shoes, it matches my jeans. I think this looks cool. Just got a package delivered. I actually don't know what it is. Oh, it's not for me. Oh. It's for my boyfriend. Never mind. Okay. I'm here. The canvas is ready. I'm gonna put some makeup on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna go for today. I'm not really fancying wearing makeup, but I think I'll probably just go for something super simple. Where do we begin? Probably eyebrows. After I've done this, I'm gonna crack on with some work because it's almost one o'clock now and I've basically done nothing. Big old squadge. I might just put it on with my finger because I tend to find that this beauty blender thing soaks it up too much. Oh shit. Um, okay, so I am incredibly orange right now. Oh, it's okay, it's blended out, it's blended out, okay. It'll be um, interesting to go to this event because it's in Whitechapel and I used to live there and I haven't been since the pandemic. So I'm quite excited to go to that area and just see how it's changed. <sighs> I don't really miss living around there because it was quite scary on occasion and also more expensive, even though our flat was a lot smaller. There we go. Bloody beautiful. Okay, maybe I just go for like a, br a brown eye and then I do like blue mascara, but no blue eyeliner. I'm, I'm pretending I know what I'm doing, but I don't. And I feel like, cause I felt so anxious this morning. I feel really anxious about this as well. Cool. Are you supposed to put like a transition shade in between? I think that's the thing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I genuinely feel like I hit 24 and I was just like, no makeup, I don't understand you anymore. Like I used to be so good at this. Like not to toot my own horn, but objectively, yes, I was good at it. And now I literally am just like, this is a foreign object to me. But I've used this hundreds of times, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna use this color just to make like a line, like a crease. I've been watching a lot of Nigella recently and she always has a really weird smoky eye. Maybe it's not weird to other people. Oh no, I don't think I like that. Okay, maybe I'll do that and then I'm gonna do like a brown line. I've got like one of these little, oh, I'm a beauty YouTuber now. No, I'm not, it's not fucking focusing still. Whatever, it's a little angled brush. And I'm gonna take the darker brown and do that. That's the thing, right? People do that. I feel like that looks really bad. Oh. I'm hoping this mascara can salvage it. I feel like tonight, today just isn't my day. Okay, I need to stop freaking out because what I've done to my face isn't even that impactful. It still basically looks like I'm wearing no makeup but just blue mascara. So like, just chill, just chill. Everything's fine. The reason I'm feeling so anxious is because I had a dream about this event last night and basically in the dream I didn't have anything to wear and I turned up and I forgot to vlog the whole thing and it was like really horrible so like I just woke up this morning being like oh I've done I've done that now and it was really horrible but actually <laughs> I haven't lived that day yet that day is today so I'm just feeling really like out of sorts, I kind of feel like this is a dream. So I've done blue mascara on top. So this is how I look, <laughs> basically. It's not, it's not crazy. It's not anything super glam, but I just thought I'd put something on my face. So I'm gonna do some Instagram posts now, probably edit some of this video, not this video, the 2nd of September video, and then get my shit together because I need to leave. Oh my god, I can't believe what's just happened. So I just opened the package because my boyfriend was like, I've not ordered anything. It's very likes that we ordered a year ago. They've just shown up. I can't believe that. My boyfriend is literally going to be like, what the hell? Like, we ordered these at Christmas last year because we couldn't get any warm, because I hate the white lights for the tree. I would prefer the warm ones, but we couldn't get them anywhere. 
And so we had to order them online from home base and they never came. And it's October. <laughs> I can't believe that. So I just put up an Instagram post, which went fine. But I'm just trying to edit a video now and the fucking files are all suddenly missing because apparently I don't have enough disk space. My laptop is genuinely a piece of trash. <sighs> Today's just not my day. I hope it gets better when I get to the event. I'm sure it will. I always do this before I meet new people. Like I feel really anxious about it and I feel really, it's not about them, it's about me. Like what if they don't like me, et cetera, et cetera. But I know I'll be fine once I get there and I get chatting and stuff. I just need to like chill and take a step back. I'm gonna make myself some lunch now. I think I'm just gonna have some pasta that's in the fridge and desperately try and charge my phone because I need it to take videos on at the event and it's on like half battery, which is not good. I really wish I wasn't this anxious sometimes. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I just need to get myself in a good headspace. I don't really know how to do that. Maybe I just open all the windows. That might help. I just ate my pasta and now I'm eating a vegan brownie. I also, oh gosh, the sun's bright. I also wrote down how I feel in my book. This is a book I have for therapy and I write how I feel after every session in there. But I also, I'm trying to get into a habit of using it more to just journal and write about how I'm feeling each day. So I thought, Maybe it will help my anxiety if I just write it down in a book. And it definitely has helped a little bit. Oh, I just need to keep breathing and exhaling properly because I'm like winding myself up about over nothing. My brain is so good. Just a quick PSA for anyone with IBS, if you don't know this already, which you fucking should. Buscapan is the best thing ever. Like you literally take one tablet and it stops you from like having diarrhea. So if you have IBS like me, Get yourself some of these. They are quite pricey, but oh my God, they are so worth it. So just a quick little outfit check before I leave. So I've got jacket on, vintage, necklaces on. The majority of these were my nans. This is literally like a chain from another necklace that snapped or something. Oh no, it's a bag chain. It's a bag chain. Um, this bag is Lazy Oath. I got it in a sample sale. Vest and knitted by me. Uh, T-shirt is like a Keith Haring design. It's from Uniqlo a while ago. Vintage jeans, old as fuck, Doc Martens. Hey. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a vegan workshop. I've got this like little I mean, this half dome. <laughs> <laughs> we're meant to have half a circle and this is what I have. They told me not to use different sized beads but I use different size beads and it feels like it wasn't a good idea. So what you want to do is you want to go pick your thread and thread it through the next two. Oh! Oh my God. She's so right, she's so right. Absolute chaos. <laughs> Concentrating. Oh, and then do you always go through the two? Yeah, you do, every... yeah, obviously. Yeah. I don't know, I just said that. No, but I believe you. I did just yeah. say it, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've got it, I think I've cracked it. Like, no one can tell me that I've not. Wait, I feel like I've reached an impasse. Oh, oh, that looks wrong and right at the same time. I'm, I'm waiting for the final step. My beads look good. Good morning. The dress code for today is white and comfy. <laughs> My hair is not done yet, obviously. I thought I would talk a little bit about the event last night and then I'm gonna show you the yarn and stuff that they gave to me. They gave us such huge goodie bags. It was really amazing. Yeah, they really didn't have to do that. And there's some products that aren't released yet as well. So it's very exciting. Yeah, so the event was with Stitch and Story. And they're a knitwear company who sell packs and yarn and they make it really easy to learn to knit. Last night they were talking us through a lot of their products and they were saying that they try and source their yarn as responsibly as possible. So 
uh, they had to move some of the production to China because of like some production issues, but they're moving the majority of it back to Italy now, which is really nice to know because obviously less carbon emissions. Excuse my hair. <laughs> I don't know what's going on this morning. But yeah, it was really nice to like meet the team and get to know all that stuff behind the arms as well because obviously that's really important to me. Last night we um, we had some drinks and we got a goodie bag and we were kind of talking just like me and the other knitters like chatting about our work and stuff. And then we did like a beading workshop which I'm sure I inserted footage of because it was absolutely hilarious because none of us could get it <laughs> and the the only person that was with us that doesn't craft was like on it she knew exactly what she was doing and we were all really struggling so um that's quite ironic it was really nice and i made a little christmas tree decoration which i will show you i just need to um get my face together first i'm just using um if anyone's interested it's this brand called Bybee. bb i don't know how to say it it's BYBI. I'm focusing. Oh, it, that doesn't work for me. Like, people do that all the time. It doesn't work. Maybe it's because I don't have a fucking camera and I'm using my iPhone. <laughs> That's their, like, morning moisturiser. And then I use, like, some oil to just hydrate my dry, dry, dry skin. <laughs> yeah, everyone I met there last night was super nice. I met Vicky from Vicky's Knits and another girl, Harriet. Um, I'll leave their um, information at the bottom, like, and I'll leave Stitch and Stories link at the bottom as well. Yeah, and it was really nice to meet them because, like, Vicky's got loads of followers on Instagram. So I was like, oh my god, is that Vicky Knits? As soon as I saw her. And it was, and I was like, oh my god, like, because she's like, just done a collab with Wall and the Gang and stuff like that. So it was really nice to meet a face behind a big Instagram account, especially like a big craft Instagram account. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got last night now. So I got this huge bag of stuff that they gave us all, which was so kind of them. And this brand new wool, which isn't released yet. So it's called the Jolie. And it's, I think they said it was acrylic, but it doesn't feel like acrylic at all. It's so soft. And it knits up so nicely. I wish I'd taken a picture of how it knits up, but I guess I'll just have to show you. If you want to see that, follow me on Instagram. The link will be below. <laughs> yeah, so I got a few balls of this colour. And then they've got this like really nice red, pink and black colourway as well. I feel like I've like really rinsed them. And then I got um, this purpley colourway as well. I thought I could maybe use that as like an intarsia colour or something, so it'd be like speckled in the intarsia or Fair Isle, whoever wants to call whatever. So it's all the same thing in some ways. Yeah, so I got shitloads of that yarn basically. And then I got this 60% cotton and acrylic, which is really nice. I'm trying to like keep it in the sun so you can see it. It's like a really soft cotton like a lot of the time cotton can be really dry but this one's actually pretty soft which is really nice and the same i got the same in white as well or oh, it's like a cream i guess it's like an off-white yeah and then here is my bead i made during the meeting workshop as you can see it's not circular but i'm gonna stick it on my christmas tree and i think it'll be beautiful a beautiful little centerpiece maybe this should be the theme for my christmas tree this year maybe we should go like gaudy bright colors because i have the same decorations every year but like last year we made like popcorn on string because we did like a a really like old-fashioned tree but this year i'm feeling some tinsel i'm feeling some like bling <laughs> basically so they're also launching cross stitch kits which i got four of because <laughs> i thought if i don't use them then i can always give them as a christmas present and people would love these i feel like so i got this one which is like celestial club they're all different like club themes this one is dinosaur club this one's the cutest hug club which is like, I'm not entirely sure what they are. I think they might be bears, like a bear hug maybe. And then this one, which is like Ocean Club, which is ironic because I have a complete phobia of whales. So this one's definitely gonna get re-gifted. 
They were kind enough as well to give us their 100% merino wool. It's like a chunky wool, like a roving kind of feel. I got four balls of that. Oh my Christ, I really did, really did well for myself. Oh, they put a little note in here. So here at Stitch and Story, our aim is to make crafting simple. It starts with a spark, a flash of curiosity. With each step taking you closer to it, I made that feeling so wholesome. And then they were kind enough as well to just let us dig through their boxes of needles and yarn and stuff. So I picked up a pair of these, which are just good old chunky needles. And then I also got some crochet hooks and I don't crochet so maybe getting these is me st starting to learn <laughs> I, I feel like I should know how to do it and like I've done it before but I just wasn't very good at it so yeah I got these because I thought if you have a chunky crochet hook then at least you can do some like quick chunky stuff so maybe I will try and learn one day maybe not right now <laughs> I don't understand. I understand knit because it's like a nice grid, but crochet is just another beast entirely. Thank you so much to Stitch and Story for giving me all this yarn. I can't believe how much is down here. Like, honestly, what a haul. <laughs> um, and if you want to see what I do with it, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link will be below. And thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in another vlog very soon. Bye! Thank you.